What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. Last time we talked about one of our thick skinned friends, Rose, the three banded armadillo. We talked about how she can, you know, why she's named the three banded armadillo, of course, because she's got those three bands. She can roll completely into a ball, like most other armadillo species can't, and how she's super, super cute. So if you haven't seen that video already, make sure to look on our channel, find the video, watch it. You see an adorable armadillo. You won't, uh, you won't regret it, I promise. Now today, you can see I'm in kind of a different climate right now. <laughs> I'm in the water because I'm in our lower Amazon exhibit. Now in here, I've got some really gorgeous freshwater fish. This is a freshwater system here. So you can see we've got some really colorful cichlids. I've got a beautiful butterfly carp over there. I've got an Oscar. We've got a bunch of variety of really cool, awesome fish in here. And what else we have is we've got a predator. We have the Cuvier's Dwarf Cayman. Now take a look at that. That is my friend Greg, the Cuvier's Dwarf Cayman. You can see these are one of the smallest species of caiman. Now, caiman are related to crocodiles and alligators, but they tend to be, you know, quite a bit smaller. What makes caiman different than crocodiles and alligators is they have what's called osteoderms. Now, everybody at home say osteoderm. So osteo meaning bone, derm meaning skin. So they have bony plates all over their body. Now they've got them on the top of their body and they've got them on the bottom of their body. So this guy right here, he's like a little swimming tank. He's got very, very heavy armor plating. And so those are one of the things, other than his teeth, of course, that gives him a lot of protection. Now, one good thing for the caiman, since they do have those osteoderms, is you can't make leather out of these guys, like some folks do make leather out of alligators. So you don't have to worry about it with the caiman because of those osteoderms. Now take a look at him under the water. He's got a couple things there that make him very well suited to living life in water. Now you can actually see his eyes look a little cloudy right now. That's because he's got his second eyelid down. He's got built in goggles so we can see underwater. You know, when we go swimming, we bring goggles with us. He's got those goggles with him all the time. So if I were to walk over to him, he could see me. Now, of course, I don't want to walk over to him just because I kind of want him to hang out where he's at, but he could see me underwater. Now, he's also got a very flat tail, and that tail is like a propeller in the water. He's going to use that tail to be able to swim. Another cool thing about these guys, they actually have a flap in the back of their throat. So if you ever see an alligator or a caiman, sitting underwater with its mouth open, might be going, man, how's it not getting water in its throat? Well, he's got that little flap that will close down so he doesn't have to worry about that water once he's in there. Now, Cuvier's dwarf came and they're one of the smallest species around, only gonna get the, the highest it's ever seen is about five feet long. Now they can get upwards of 15 pounds as well. That's probably what my friend, uh, my friend over here is about 15 pounds. Um, as you can tell, they can hold their breath for quite a long time. They're very, very good at that. Now let's talk a little bit about what they eat. I want you to get your mind going at home. What do you think this guy eats? Tofu, lettuce wraps. What do you think? Moms, do you think they eat kids that don't do their homework? <laughs> no, he doesn't eat any of that stuff, right? Now this guy, he'll eat different types of crustaceans, fish, amphibians, little mammals, birds, if they can get to them. But for the most part, they're going to eat a lot of crustaceans. So they've got a very strong set of jaws there that allows them to be able to eat crustaceans. Now, alligators, crocodiles, caimans, they don't chew like you and I do. What they have instead is they've got a bunch of little stones and pebbles inside their gizzard that allows them to, to uh, it crushes down the food, breaks it down, so that their body can digest it. Now these guys are super, super cool. 
They're also known as the Wedgehead Cayman. That's a little bit easier to say than Cuvier's Dwarf Cayman, isn't it? Also known as the Wedgehead Cayman because of the shape of their head. But man, what an impressive species of, of Cayman. Uh, what a cool animal. I'm really, really excited that we're able to have them here at SeaQuest. Now, one of the questions that I get asked by guests sometimes is, do the Cayman ever bother the fish that are in the exhibit? Now, I have a really great analogy for that. That's like if you're sitting at home and you've got a waiter and your waiter's bringing you a steak every day. Steak, mashed potatoes, uh, chocolate cake. He's bringing them to you. He's even cutting up the steak. He's cutting up the steak and he's putting it right in your mouth. Now, if your waiter's doing that, would you worry about a piece of popcorn 20 feet away and a fast piece of popcorn? <laughs> All right, I wouldn't worry about it. I'd be pretty darn happy with the steak and the cake, right? So that's exactly what our guys do here. They know that we're gonna feed them. We feed them a really high quality diet that's got all the vitamins, nutrients, minerals, everything that they need. They get a varied diet. They'll get crabs sometimes, fish, they love fish, uh, but they get a variety of different types of things here. So it's pretty cool. Now, one of the cool things about the Cayman here at Sequest is you can actually get the experience to feed them. We've got a fishing pole. We'll drape it over the side. It's like reverse fishing. So you have a fish on the end there. We'll dip it in the water and the caiman will come up and grab it. Now they're being a little shy right now just because I am in the water with them, but it's one of the cool experiences that you can have here at SeaQuest. Now folks, don't forget, right now we're currently doing a big sale as a big thank you to all of our heroes in the medical profession. Medical, uh, personnel do get free admissions and everybody you bring with you gets 50% off. Don't forget it. Now, if you're not already subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe. We're gonna post videos every single week. So even if you don't wanna come to the aquarium, you can see the animals that we've got here just from your phone. All right, folks, we talked a little bit about my Cayman friends here today, the Cuvier's Dwarf Cayman. Now, I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.